If you're considering a visit to Bryan College Station, then this is the video for you. I'm Eric the Travel Guide. Let's start exploring right now. Pack up the car and get ready because this Central Texas destination is closer than you think and you'll be surprised at how much fun you're going to have. Plan an extended weekend here to Aggieland, home to Texas A&M University, and take in that familiar college spirit. See the museums, shop till you drop, and feast on the authentic local fare. Bryan College Station is located just 87 miles from Houston and 100 miles from Austin. So yeah, it's close and open for business. Pretty stunning, isn't it? Of course, you'll find local motel and hotel chains, but I say get in the spirit of Texas and stay at a brand new property. Welcome to the George. This 162 room luxury boutique hotel is steeped in authentic Texas charm. From the Texas flag book wall, to the whiskey bar, to the flock. That's the signature plaster sheet that graced the hotel. Try not to move the sheet. You'll instantly feel the unparalleled service and style of this new property, and it's conveniently located in Century Square, a 60-acre destination offering the city's best at retail, dining, and entertainment venues, and cool gathering spaces that all come together in a walkable urban landscape. Four out of five travel professionals will tell you getting your day started on the right foot is all about the planning. That's why I've got my sightseeing list, I've got my map on my phone, I've got sunscreen, and of course, comfortable shoes. Oh, uh, and yes, huevos rancheros. Now we started our day here at the Canteen, which is conveniently located inside the Cavalry Court Hotel. Cavalry Court blends the timeless aesthetic of retro military style from the 50s and 60s with touches of modern amenities. Add in the 141 signature guest rooms and suites, along with live music, outdoor fire pits, a pool reminiscent of a freshwater swimming hole, and you will find you've met your heart's every desire. And they're pet friendly. Did you catch the name? It's Century Square, and it's one of the newest neighborhoods here. Dining, shopping, nightlife, it's all here, and you have to make room for it on your itinerary. We gotta keep moving. Mm -hmm. It's on to the campus. Former students, this is gonna bring back memories. Texas A&M opened its doors in 1876 as the state's first public institution of higher learning. Today, the university stands as a research-intensive flagship university. Yes, I know we showed you students learning and buildings of higher education, but I thought you should see something completely unique. This is the Hall of Champions at Kyle Field, and it is simply unbelievable. And it's massive. It's 35,000 square feet. It's shaped like a football. It's as long as a football field, and it's three stories tall. So I say you could take a tour and browse the interactive exhibits dedicated to all sports played at Texas A&M. Okay, we are taking you behind the scenes for something truly, truly special. And very few people get to see what you are about to see without paying millions of dollars. Look, there's 120 suites here at the stadium. And of those 120, there's 12 founder suites, the most exclusive and the most luxurious. Come on, I'll show you around. I hope the owners don't come by. Just make it quick. Whether from a suite or in the stands, a football game is the best way to feel that Aggie spirit. This is a first. Of the thousands of travel videos I've been proud to host over the years, this is our first presidential library. Politics aside, visiting the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum is a must, and it's located right here in College Station. Let's go take a look around. Learn more about the country's 41st president and former first lady Barbara Bush as you browse the permanent exhibits. Peek behind the scenes at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue at the Oval Office or the Situation Room and don't miss the presidential limousine. Plan on spending at least a few hours to take it all in. Let's bring it in close. Now, the problem with all of this exploring is you've got to stay hydrated. I suggest plenty of water. Oh and some red wine right here from Messina Hoff Winery and Resort. Hello, Doug. Hi. What are we drinking? We have our Reflections of Love. Perfect. Should we go explore? Absolutely. Okay, we'll drink and explore at the same time. Let's have some wine along the way. Oh, I like that. Messina Hoff is a family-owned business based on the three cornerstones of family, 
tradition, and romance, and is dedicated to the production of a gold medal winning wine in every varietal and to maximize opportunities developed from the wines in a tourism destination focused on the best in hospitality, food, and customer service. This is three generations of winemaking since the late 1970s, and today you can take a tour, dine at the Vintage House, and even spend the night at the Villa Bed and Breakfast. We don't have time to show you everything in this short video, but what we can show you is that Downtown Bryan is open for business. Antique shops, art galleries, and local restaurants can all be found in this charming district. And while you're here, make a stop at RX Pizza for the best brick oven pizza and craft cocktails in the heart of Texas. After the sunset, well, I was starting to get a little hungry and I was out of clean socks, so I decided to make my way to Harvey Washbangers, and believe me, I was impressed. It's part laundromat, part restaurant. Mm -hmm. well, here is another first. I have two words for you, Dixie Chicken. Now, stay with me on this. This is one of these places you just have to go. Why? Because it's unique, it's authentic, and well, let's face it, everybody else goes here, you should too. Go ahead, take a look around. I'll be over here if you need me. Mm. Yeah, I know. Finally, an office that matches my ego. Oh, Mom, I gotta go. All right, I've decided to issue an executive order. Those of you seeking an authentic Texas vacation must visit Bryan College Station. I am Eric the Travel Guy. God bless America. Too much? That was great. <laughs> so they're clapping. <laughs>